Hi there, in uh, this video I'm going to show how to install Apache on CentOS 7. This video builds on one that I've done previously which I will link in the description below where I install CentOS on VMware Workstation. So depending on how you want to do it, you can use the GUI that you've installed previously by going Applications and Terminal and you can follow along there. But I prefer to use Putty which is um, free open source application that allows you to ssh into your servers and um, i'll also pop a link to that below so i have my my ip address of my server here so i'm going to pop my ip address in here and i want to click open let me just take this over and i'll make this bigger so everyone can see a little better so I'm going to log in using the username and password that we created in the previous video. And we can see I'm in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is install Apache. And what I'll do is I'll put all these commands below in the description as well. So sudo yum install httpd. So httpd is what Apache is called on CentOS. Sudo is kind of similar to admin in Windows world. Yum is the command to go fetch it and install. So sudo yum install httpd and I want to click enter. So you get a bit of a warning from CentOS here saying, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. So I'm just going to pop in my password here. And you can see it is going to fetch um, Apache for me now so hopefully now it's just gonna run through this but what I'll do is I'll just pause it while it's fetching this okay you should see a screen like this now if you don't be sure to comment below and let me know and uh, if I can help I certainly will so I'm gonna type in Y to say yes I want to install this and I'm gonna click enter so you can see it begins to fetch the packages there it's gonna ask me is this key okay I'm gonna say yes And again, it should just do, it should just start installing the bits and pieces that we need. So again, I'll just pause it here. Um, my internet connection's a little bit slow. So I'll pause it so we aren't waiting. Okay, so it looks like Apache has installed successfully for us here. So what I'm going to do now is um, make sure to turn the Apache service on for us. So that is sudo service httpd start. So again, admin start the Apache service and I'm going to click enter and it looks like it's done that. So I'm going to press the up arrow on my keyboard to get the previous command and I'm going to change this now to status to make sure it gives us the status of Apache and we can see here active is running. So the next command I'm going to put in is check config Apache to make sure that Apache starts when we restart our CentOS machine. So that command looks like sudo check chk key c o n f i g h t t p d on. So that now means that when you power on your machine, Apache will be started for you. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take up my browser here. Let me pause it here. For okay, so I have my browser here. So let's pop in the IP address of my machine and we see what happens here. Okay, so that doesn't look too good, but I think I know what this is. So let's just check our, our firewall. So basically here I'm just saying, again, give me the status of the firewall. And we can see the firewall is on. So what we need to do is allow port 80, which is what Apache operates on, through that firewall so we can get to our page. So let's try this now. So I'm going to put in firewall cmd zone equals public. add port 
equals 80 TCP and we want to make this real permanent. Okay. Ah, I don't say the magic word. So pseudo and a success. Okay, so what we want to do now is just reload the firewall, sudo firewall cmd reload. Okay, let's take our browser up and try that again. There we go, so Patsy's working. So one more quick thing we'll do here, we'll drop a test page into our Apache directory and make sure that loads up. And again, I'll pop all these below, all these commands below in the description so you have them. So let's go into, we're going to create one, let's just say touch, which is just to touch a file to create it. Again, we need to do sudo on this, sudo touch var double dub html is the default directory for Apache. I'm going to call this index.html. So now I'm just going to press my up arrow, going to get rid of touch and say bye. Vi is a text editor, which I'll do a video on shortly. And then when, once I do, I'll put the description in the comments below. Okay, so let's insert this really quickly. HTML. Hello world. HTML, just to close the tag off. Escape, colon W, quit. Let's take our browser up. Try this now. And we can see it's worked. Hello world. So our Apache server is up and running.